Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Raspy Rides, where we talk about food delivery and e-bikes. Right now we're on the LA River Trail. It's looking super green and has a lot of water right now. During summertime, this looks dry as heck. Uh, today I thought I'd do a range test with my 70 amp hour X-Class. And what other better way to do it while uh, doing deliveries? Make some money while checking out the range of my bike. Right, let's check out the setup and we'll pull over. All right, so this is my Aerial Rider X-Class. There's 46 amp hours of battery in here, paralleled with another 24 amp hour right here. Bam! Got Molly cells down here and LG cells right there. The Molly cells are way better, but this acts as like a little extender. I've never really done a, an official range test, so we'll see how that goes today. About 70 amp hours, I think about uh, 70 to maybe 90 miles, depending on how I ride. Obviously, if I ride really slow, I can get way over 100. But I'm thinking I stay at around 30 miles per hour most of the time and uh, do bursts of 40 and 50 miles per hour. Man, I was a scooter on here. Jeez, he gave me the nod. Probably was wondering what I am. Is that a motorcycle? Is that an e-bike? Taking the scenic route to work. The shift starts at 8 o'clock. It's 7.57 right now. We're on our way to the starting point. We like to start up Panera Bread, get my coffee. I turn on Uber Eats just in case I get something along the way. Let's turn on Grubhub too. And now we're going from Long Beach, downtown Long Beach, to a smaller little city, more in the suburbs. Looks like we got our first order from I hop on Grubhub almost four miles. It's towards the direction I want to go. Oh, we got a DoorDash one. $15 for four miles, but I got to shop for four items. Nope, I think it's trying to take me to Compton. Not trying to go to Compton right now. Decline. Right now I got 81.3 volts, which equals 90% battery. Uh, we got our exit. Which leads us to a big street. Now we're just gonna be going 30 miles per hour. Pick it up a little bit. Just got to IHOP. Let's see if the order's ready. The alarm on the bike. Bam. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Oh, I think it's done. You can see it right there. Hi. Yeah, picking up for Derek. Cool. Thank you so much. You too. Six bucks, seven miles, Uber Eats. Nope, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, let's get this money. Look at my man hustling out here, selling menudo out of the trunk of his car, his SUV. That's straight hustling. Check out these bike lanes, guys. They have separators. That's so cool. 
a lot of times most bike lanes will just have this white painted line on the ground which don't do shit because i've been hit by a car while in the bike lane but if i had that the curb that would have saved me imagine if they had that separator everywhere she imagine how many less bike accidents there'd be just about there drop off this ihop order top up this sidewalk Ooh. got one starbucks 925 for 2.8 miles heck yeah let's take that let's get this ihop order dropped off first Almost tripped. Man, that pool looks green. That does not look safe to swim in. It's upstairs. That was 7.18. Now let's go get the Starbucks order. I think this looks like a long stretch of road, so let's do a quick little speed run. So right now on level three, let's bring it all the way to level five. some cold air it's too early for those speeds woke me up man i think i hit 55 55 miles per hour on there i feel horny so helpful saved my life many times one drink two drinks cool and a Danish and a croissant. Hi, right, good morning. No problem, thank you. Speaking of DoorDash? Yeah, for Kiki? Awesome, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Everyone. Let's pack this in there well so nothing flies out. Shakes around. Damn. It's like playing, playing Tetris. Gotta put on the backpack carefully. So that nothing spills. Uh, let's see how many miles it takes to deliver. 1.3 miles, nice. Man, I just hit a big bump. Hopefully the coffee's all right. I'm nervous to check now. Maybe I'm nervous because there's a canine unit in front of me. Is that another cop over there too? Oh, he was eyeing my bike. As long as I don't do anything stupid, usually cops don't really care about my bike. It's not like I ride a Suron. No, cops love Surons. This is why I love delivering in the suburbs instead of where I live in downtown Long Beach. Just less high rises, less traffic. Carefully take the bag off. Oh man. Moment of truth, let's see if anything spilled. Good. Ciao! We are good, nothing spilled. Hell yeah. Let's 
go get some coffee from Panera. Unless I get a good order. I need my coffee. I sound like an addict right now. <laughs> it's just every time I take that first sip, the world gets brighter, colors look more vibrant. It's easier to hear things. I start hearing the birds chirp. She. I am an addict. I'll admit it. I have a subscription to Panera. It's like 12 bucks a month. You get unlimited coffee, drinks, uh, teas, soft drinks. But I mean, do it for the coffee. Are you uh, just a cup of coffee. Small, medium, or large? Small, please. You're all good. Sweet. Thank you so much. No Okay, cool. I feel alive now. <laughs> Let's check how many miles you've done. We've done 14 miles. And we are still at 81 volts. It's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. I haven't gotten any notifications for orders in a minute. So I'm just going to ride around a little bit. Sometimes I feel like when I'm too close to the mall, I don't really get any orders. I've got three apps running right now. Uber Eats, Grubhub, and DoorDash. Give me something. You know, when I use my car for deliveries, I feel bad for moving around. It's because, you, you know, you're wasting gas. Just trying to get an order. But on my bike, I don't really care. It's the nice part about having an e-bike. I think to charge this whole entire bike up, the two batteries probably cost me like less than a dollar. I think maybe 80 cents or something like that. Got an order. Oh no, it disappeared. Shit, too slow. What the hell? People steal your order? I feel like when it's shopping orders, um, like you know, you get less time. I feel like it's more like a bid. Maybe multiple, uh, multiple delivery people get see the same one. And if you take too long for the the shop and pay orders, they just disappear real quick compared to the food delivery ones. Got an order from DoorDash, Mimi's Cafe, $14.50 for 4.6 miles. Except, because it's just right there. Let's grab this order, see if it's done. Oh, I see the bag, I think it's done. Hi. Uh, picking up for Carol. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. Me too. Sorry. Excuse me. Let's see if it even fits in my bag. I might have to use this bigger bag right here. We shall see. You can make it fit. <laughs> Ciao! Fits perfect. This on there. Bam! <laughs> now we got four and a half miles to go. I have to pick up the speed here instead of 30 miles per hour, maybe you know, 35, 40. Let's get this money. So, this order said it was four point something miles for I think 14 bucks. I feel like there's gonna be a hidden tip, but we'll see. We shall see. We're almost there. 0.7 more miles. <laughs> and so far, we've done a total of 18.7 miles.
can kind of see through the bag. Food looks good. Not much bouncing around. So let's look for Carol. All right. Hi. Right, good morning for Carol. Thank you. Good bless. Yes, thank you. Have a nice day. All right. Moment of truth. Let's see if there was a hidden tip. Ciao! There was a hidden tip. Total is higher than the fourteen fifty shown on acceptance. And the total is seventeen seventy five. That was definitely worth it. Right. Let's, let's see. Let's add up how much we're at. Twenty seven bucks plus the one from Grubhub. Seven eighteen. Nice, nice. Not bad, not bad. All right. Thirty four eighteen. Let's get back to our zone and make some more monies. We're gonna hop on the sidewalk here because there's a little bridge I wanna show you guys. It overlooks the freeway. It's a pretty cool view. It's pretty cool. Sidewalk's pretty narrow though. not really meant for cyclists, more for pedestrians, people walking. Hopefully we won't, we won't get in anyone's way. Check that out. It's a pretty cool view. Let's get back on the street. I hate riding on the sidewalk with my e-bike. It might even be illegal. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be on the street with the cars. But I got pedals. You got pedals, no one really cares about what you do. I like your seat. Yeah. Your seat is nice. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. The seat has a little backrest on it. That looks super cool. You know, the reason why I do most of my deliveries at 30 miles per hour is because I feel like in a three mile radius, it doesn't really make a difference if you're in a car driving fast or if you're on an e-bike going 30 miles per hour because you're only as fast as, you know, the, the stop signs and the, the lights. So you're gonna go really fast, but then you're gonna get stopped by a, a red light anyways. So there's no point. It makes a bigger difference once you start traveling further out, like four, five, six miles. But in three miles, I'll get to my destination just as quick as a car. See, all those cars that were speeding ahead of me, they all stopped at the light now. So 30 miles per hour is a good way to save range and be efficient. Looks like we got a DoorDash order for Petco. Four items, 2.5 miles from 925. I'll take it, let's go. So it looks like we got a shop for four bags of dog food. The heaviest one is 13 pounds. I'm gonna try to stack that on my bike in the passenger seat, see how it goes. I've done dog food before, but never four bags of it. Got my bungee cords with me. Police is not that far. Oh, we got a grub hub over here. Uh, almost eight bucks for two miles, Chick-fil-A, grub hub. I would usually take that, but I'm trying to get my active time on DoorDash up. DoorDash is the one that gives me the stipend for my health insurance. Since it's not busy, they might let me take my bike in, park it in there. It's a little safer. Forgot we need a shopping cart for sure. Alright, I got eight minutes to shop. 
for four items. Let's see how far I can do this in. Let's see if I can beat the timer. Just checked out. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty worried. I thought that I was gonna carry four bags of dog food. But I don't. It's a much easier order than I thought. Let's turn this bike around. Only 1.9 miles. It's right in here. See, see, see. Okay, I think I found it right here. Oh, that was a mission. Okay, let's add 9.25 to our calculator, that's 9.25, 43 doll hairs. That's before lunchtime too. I'm getting hungry myself. I brought a little egg and hammy sandwich. Right now it's 10.09. So usually around this time it slows down a little bit. It'll be a good time to eat something. Check this out guys. Look at this beamer. <clears throat> you guys ever seen a blue license plate? Black and blue one? I thought they only had black and gold ones. That's pretty cool. See how many miles we've ridden. 27.5 miles. And I'm at 79 volts, which means I'm around 80%. I got a DoorDash order, so I can't eat my sandwich yet. But it is $13 for $13 for, it was like five miles. It's not an amazing order, but right now it's 10, 24 a.m. So it's kind of downtime, downtime. So that's why I'm gonna take the order just to fill in that gap. And if I can finish it in 30 minutes, it'll be over $50 by 11 a.m. That's usually a good sign for me. Hi Stephanie. I think it's ready too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, is this for Andre? Yeah. Okay, thank you. You too. So first I'm gonna put the drink in my cup holders in here. I'm gonna put this Mongolian noodle in my bag. You gotta be careful with these, these noodles because you always fill it with a bunch of sauce. So it's very easy for it to drip out. I'm probably gonna spill a little bit, but not much, hopefully. One time I did a delivery with these Mongolian noodles. And it was a pretty good tip order, right? And it was a handed to me order. So when I got there, there was a gate and she, uh, the customer wasn't picking up her, her phone. So I, I decided to climb the gate and halfway through, I noticed that a lot of the, the sauce was spilling out into the bag but the, the customer saw that I was uh, climbing the gate and she felt really bad. So she didn't really care that the sauce came out. And on top of that, she gave me a bigger tip. Such a nice lady. She knew the struggle. I wouldn't have climbed that gate, but it was just such a good tip. 
I have no regrets though because of the extra cash tip she gave me. Oh, forgot to confirm the order. Confirmed. Alright, five miles. Let's go. Damn, this order took me all the way to Hawaiian Gardens. I didn't even realize that. I thought it was gonna take me to Cerritos. I feel my back all warm from the food. Hopefully nothing spilled. We're about to find out. Moment of truth. Oh, a little bit spilled out. Not too much though. It's all right. I'm gonna wipe off the drink a little bit. Dollars for that plus thirteen fifty six dollars. <laughs> Guys, check out this Prius, they turn it into a truck. Hold on, let me catch up. He's gonna follow it. anything like that. It even has a rack on top. Did you did you build this? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah the uh the big truck the F350 gets nine miles a gallon. Nine miles a gallon. This gets 50. 50 miles a gallon. So this car has already saved me fifteen thousand dollars since I got it since I turned it into a truck. Uh, wow wants to get the cyber truck and I'm not spending $100,000. No, nah, this is way cooler than the cyber truck. <laughs> I got this for $4,500. I can't believe you built this yourself. Yeah, watch the YouTube channel video. It shows you how I took it from a car, made it into a truck, and then I, and then the second video is putting this carbon fiber wrap. And then uh, the, another one is the uh, the rack. And the next thing, I'm gonna put two solar panels up here so that when I get to the store, I can plug it in because it's a plug-in hybrid. So that is awesome. All right, man. Good talking. Thank you. What a nice guy. You mentioned the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck's really cool, but I don't know. I've never seen a Prius truck. That's pretty badass. The Prius truck just pulled over, and uh, he waved for me to come in. Let's see what he wants to tell me. So it has all the storage. Pull out drawer. Hold on. Let me get a closer look. What? And then you have a compartment there. So you just throw all the tools you want. I put a thousand pounds on it, no problem. Wow. I, I carry 20 foot uh, bars. I mean, it's a little <laughs> long on the end, but. Uh, when you park this Prius somewhere, do you ever come back out and see people taking oh, pictures yeah, of it? Oh yeah, constantly, constantly. That's why I always stop and show them the doors and everything. It's great. You yeah, know? I, I was it like, makes you feel good that people like it, you know? Yeah, I, I gotta get going. All right, yeah, but, take it easy. Hey, thank you so much for showing me this. Yeah, take it easy. Hey, have a good one. Thank you, thank you. What a nice friendly guy. Man, some people, are so creative. You know, you think you're pretty cool for building an e-bike, making a 70 amp hours, and then someone shows up with a Prius truck. Lunch is about to start, so I'm just gonna scarf down. <laughs> Technically, this is still my breakfast, but I guess now it's my lunch too. I'm gonna push this down real quick. I'm gonna get back to work. Hopefully we get something. If I get something good though, I'm gonna wrap this up. Take the order. Oh, four bucks, three miles. I don't think so. I'm gonna keep eating. I have a Cafe Rio offer. 10.8 miles for $30. She, $30. Going towards downtown Long Beach. I'm gonna take it. 
10 miles, three quesadillas and a salad. I don't think there's any drinks either. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this order and book it down there. I increased my speed to 40. Right now we're at 40 miles in, 40.3. I got 77.8 volts, which translates to 73, 74%. Yeah, I got plenty of juice. Damn, 30 bucks? I wonder if it's a ton of base pay. Let's grab this order. Let's see. Let's see if it's gonna be a ton of base pay or a big tip. Maybe half and half. Fifteen, fifteen dollar base, fifteen dollar tip. Can you pick it up? Yeah, for William. Can I see? Yep. Here you go. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. I wonder if this is gonna fit in my bag. Let's find out. At least it's just salad and quesadilla. It's all right if it bounces around. Oh snap, it fit. So we're going back towards downtown Long Beach. I could take the river trail but I feel like there's gonna be a ton of cyclists there. And if there's a ton of cyclists, that means I can't ride fast. Cause it's dangerous and it's gonna piss some people off. I don't feel like pissing anyone off today. It says delivered by 1222. It is 11.39. Damn, they gave me a long time to deliver it. All this food on my back, I can feel it. It is heavy. We're almost there, guys. 0.7 miles away. This was a long one. 10 miles on an e-bike? That's the longest I've gone for delivery on my e-bike. I think my record before was six miles for an order. I've done some long ones on my car, but never on my bike. But I couldn't resist the $30. So check this out, right here, on the right, Long Beach built a super nice library. Insanely nice, it's beautiful. But the only problem is that a bunch of homeless um, set up their, their camps. Just, it's loud and kind of, they kind of made it smelly in there. My lady tried to go and do some work over there in the library and she just couldn't, she couldn't stand the noise that all the, the homeless people were making. So she had to leave. But it's a really nice library. A lot of nice amenities. A giant penny. Is this my turn? I think this is my turn. Hi. For Will? Perfect. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. I saw you and I was like, let me try to rush the beach. I appreciate it, man. Here you are. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, you have a good one. Thank you. Let's see how much that order paid out in base pay versus to DoorDash pay. 11.25, customer tip, 19.50. Damn, that was pretty good. Solid. I had like 20 minutes to spare too. That's the beauty of high-powered e-bikes, man. You just get everywhere so fast. As long as you got the range, you can make the money. I wanna show you guys that library now. This library even has like a little playground in front of it and a skate park. Look at these, these folks 
It's chilling out in front. Well, that's a sick basketball court. And a little gym. How many can you get? How many pull-ups can you do? <laughs> no? Can you get any? I can do one. One pull-up? Yeah. You look fit though. You even got the Dragon Ball Z sweater. I can, I can one Damn. It's all good. Now as your guys age, I can only do like zero. Check out this giant penny. <laughs> it's literally just a giant penny. Just got a shopping order for Vaughn's. Four items, two miles, 11 bucks and 25 cents. Bidding if I should take it. Sure, let's do it. Let's see what they want. Oh, they want a pack of water. Crystal geyser. Uh, you want some cans of soda, watermelon bowl, and chips. You know, I actually hate shopping. That's why my fiance does all of it. But, you know, during slow times like these, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. 11 bucks for two miles, it's not bad. All right, let's see how we're gonna stack this. Take the pizza bag out. In there. This water. I just want to see it because it's heavy. Another bungee. I think that should be okay. This won't go that fast. Um, put this in the bag. I'm gonna be testing out the, the limit on my bike, weight limit on my bike. Oh yeah, having that water in the back seat changes the ride completely. But it's all good, because we make money. I started hearing some type of noise coming from my rear wheel. And I checked the spokes and I think one or two of them are loose. Oh snap, no! Damn it, broke a spoke. That might be it for my range test. Well, maybe we can get by. Man, let me see my numbers. $98.43. I still got 74 volts left. It's like 60% battery life. Just keep working. I got spare spokes at home anyways. I'll fix it when I get back. So I'm gonna head towards the direction of home because I really want to fix that spoke. If I get something good along the way, then I'm gonna take it. So I'm gonna keep my apps running. Oh snap, 11 bucks, 2.5 miles. I'll take that. Let me get my, uh, let me get my thumbnail first. Let's see if I can get in here without paying. Magic of e-bike. Yep, just take the sidewalk. Bam! Avoided all that traffic and paying. Thank you so much. Have a good one. All right, we just arrived to our drop-off location. Says, meet outside. 
Please call me when you arrive. I will come out. I am right outside. Okay, I'm coming. Thank you. Bye bye. Hi, for is it Makisha? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Dang, look at that. That's a church. It's like a White House. It says the Second Samoan Congregational Church. Man, can you imagine what the first one looks like? That's the second one. All right, I am done with deliveries for sure now and everything. I'm back at the condo now so we can go over the numbers. 77.1 miles and my top speed was 57.2. 57.2 miles and 77 miles. And I had 70 volts left which is about, I think, 30 to 40 percent. Let's just say 30 percent, because towards the end of your battery, it goes down a lot faster than the in the first half. So about 30 percent left. I made 130 bucks, mostly from DoorDash, and a little bit from Grubhub and Uber Eats. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one.